Today, we're talking about tools. Well, no, not those kinds of tools. Coping tools, which are the practices and habits that we use to help tolerate and reduce the stress we encounter in life. They're our brain's way of dealing with stressful situations. But some are a lot more helpful than others. Remember that deep breathing exercise you learned? That's a great example of a healthy coping tool. On the flip side, there are plenty of not so healthy coping tools people use every day to deal with the stress in their lives. Things like drugs, alcohol, and unhealthy relationships might feel like immediate relief, but ultimately just create problems for you in the future. It's important to develop healthy coping strategies now so that when the stressors of life do pop up, you'll be able to handle it in the healthiest way possible. Here are a few examples that may work well for you. Try focusing on a specific task. Things like cooking a meal, cleaning the house, or organizing your closet work really well. Or try practicing mindfulness. For example, journaling, meditation, or creating a gratitude list. You can also try setting a pace for your day, building in breaks and setting specific times to go outdoors without your phone. Another great coping tool is exercise. Walking, running, dancing, basketball, anything that'll get your body moving. When you exercise, your body releases special chemicals called endorphins, which are produced naturally in your nervous system. They help us cope with pain, deal with stress, and just feel good. Just remember, coping tools aren't one size fits all, so feel free to try a variety of tools to see what works best for you. A good coping tool should help get you to a place where you feel able to handle life's turbulence. And when you find a practice that makes you feel like that, congrats, you found a healthy coping tool.